Hey, welcome back. Thank you for taking time to watch another video. In this walkthrough, we're going to learn how to create a VM with an ARM template. And we're going to explore what is Azure Gallery and how to create and deploy templates using a gallery. And after the deployment, we are going to verify if the virtual machine deployment has been successful or not. To access the Quick Start Templates Gallery, let's head back to the browser and type in Azure Quick Start Template Gallery. So that should take us to the page where we can access the Quick Start Templates. So this is the page where Microsoft dedicated for publishing the templates or we as a user can always go to the gallery and we can browse through all the options available here. So there are heaps of templates for different, different purposes. Because we are quite new and we are not quite sure about what template is, let me give you a quick example. These templates, what it does is it can automate a lot of tasks for you. Let's suppose you would like to create a, a three server architecture with a couple of server and one front end, one back end, and one middleware. And then you don't have to sit and do all this configuration. All you have to do is go and select a template and you can deploy it from there and basically provide few details. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a we're going to find a template called deploy a simple Windows VM. We can, of course, do this task um, uh, via the Azure portal as well. But what I'm trying to do is I'm going to show you an example of how you can find a template for your custom need so you don't have to spend a lot of time sitting in front of the portal and do it all over again. So we found the template called deploy a simple Windows VM. Of course, you can go and Try this out yourself. It's from Brian Moore. So the best thing about this is once you find the template, you can read through the documentation and click on deploy to Azure right from the uh, web page itself. So either you can browse through the GitHub and find more details like what are the uh, network diagram, what are the readme, things you need to know before it. Or you can just click on the deploy to Azure this straight away take you into an Azure portal and uh, display the template for you. So because I've been logged into the same browser, I didn't have to authenticate again. But if not, I would have to sign into my Azure portal with my username and password. So once you are inside the template, of course, you can modify the template on however you want. I'm basically showing you all the parameters, which is part of this template. Uh, let's go and uh, see if we can find out the VM name. So uh, instead of deploying the same template, I'm going to do a little customization. So of course, this template comes with a name for the VM as well. So we are trying to see if we can find that parameter and modify the name of the virtual machine according to our need so that we are customizing the template what we are getting. So you're learning two things here. One, uh, deploying a template as it is and uh, finding the template and uh, deploying it from the portal. Next, next thing is you're learning that you don't have to deploy the template as it is. Once you get the construct, you can append more information to the template or you can delete few part of the template or you can customize certain values within the template as well. So. Once you do that, you get to know the power, what you can get out of this template deployment. So let's go and find out where I can see the name of the virtual machine. So what we are trying to find is the VM name. Uh, the VM name should be somewhere listed. I'm not quite familiar with it. Yeah, looks like that it is. So the name of the VM it is given is symbol uh, VM. So we're going to modify that to my VM one temp template or something like that. So uh, all I want to show you that is you can modify an existing template and you can customize to your need. And I'm going to save the information, go back to the deployment template. So this is it. So to create it, all we have to do is specify a resource group. 
and uh, then provide the administrative username and password for this particular symbol VM we are going to create. A DNS prefix if you would like to connect to the VM through a public IP or a DNS. Um, then you have an option to choose uh, the operating system version as well because the template provide you with a couple of options. It defaulted it into 2016 data center, but of course you would be able to go and modify and select a 29 data center as well. So I'm going to select a 2019 data center. Uh, you, if you know the family name and the VM series, you can of course put that and change the family name as well. Right now it is default into D2V3. So make the purchase and uh, validate your deployment. And it's going to take uh, maybe like 10 seconds or so for the validation. And then it is going to start the deployment process. So I can go back to the notification page and see the progress of the deployment. So it looks like our deployment has been completed. I can click on go to resource group. Just straight away it takes me to the resource group. Or I can go to the virtual machine and refresh to see if I can see the new temp template VM we created is successful. You can see that the VM is running and the name of the VM is the name we have given, which is my VM template. Uh, I can hit on connect, which gives me an option to connect to the VM via RDP. Uh, I can download the RDP file. Every time I do this, I do have a couple of monitor. One I'm using for the recording and another one is to run the recording program. So it default it back into the primary monitor. So I have to drag and drop all the notification back to the recording window. It's super funny. Right, so I'm going to give the name which we have provisioned in the template as a user. And now we are trying to connect to the VM. Looks like I'm able to connect. Uh, so I'm going to ignore the notification. And this is trying to establish a connection to the virtual machine. Yep. So right now, uh, I got a prompt to connect to the virtual machine. I can. Let me see if I can expand this to show. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to snap it, but let's see what I can do. Maybe I can maximize it to snap it. Yep, it snapped. Now, because this VM is provisioning for the first time, it takes a couple more extra seconds than normal to provision the profile. Uh, it's a brand new virtual machine within Azure. So you get to go through the page, but again, Compared to on-prem, it's super simple, right? We hardly spend like two seconds, or I mean like two minutes to execute a command. And then now we have a brand spanking new virtual machine as well. Now I can go inside the virtual machine and do any sort of task which I am planning to do with this virtual machine. Install an application or create as a web server or whatever. If I come back to the portal, there is a monitoring tab where I can go and see the averages, things like that. I can check the status of the VM by looking into the CPU average, the performance of the network in and out, the data which goes in and out of the uh, disk, etc. What's the IOPS like? So you get to know a few details within the portal itself. And we have options like automatically shut down uh, the VM, changing the size of the VM. All can be done within the portal itself. So the portal again is super powerful. So again, for this AZ900 or Azure Fundamentals, we just need to know only this much. If you are planning to sit for other examination like AZ104, then you probably would like to learn a bit more. I know that you guys are brand new to Azure and I don't want to complicate things. So this is plenty enough knowledge for you to understand how you can use a template and how you would be you can deploy it and once you deploy it, how can you access this VM within the PowerShell, uh, within the Azure portal, etc. So I hope the information provided so far has been useful and you get to know that how to use the template and how to access the VM from the portal. To avoid cost, I'm going to remove all the resources we have created just now.
Right. So now we have learned about the quick start gallery template deployment. Let's find out what we are going to learn next. In the next walkthrough, we're going to learn about how to create a VM using a PowerShell. So I will see you on the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.